The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is the Deep Space Arsenal Command Center. Now, this is in Chug Scale, as you can see. And it's basically the Autobot headquarters where you have, where you're, it's the ARC, you have Tel Teletran 1. There is just so much in this set. Now, it was um, developed last year and I put an order for it back in, I believe, April or May. And I finally got it and I gotta tell you, it was worth the wait. This set is huge. It, it was, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was and it contains a lot of little things here and there. Now, some things I'm not even sure of what they are, but um, for, as you can see here, I, I got a whole bunch of Autobots because I really wanted to show you guys the scale of this thing. So it is chug scale and let me lower the camera here, get a little bit of eye level here. And you can see I have various uh, scales of figures. Optimus Prime is a Siege Voyager. Um, we have Braun here who's uh, legend scale. And then if you'll stand up. And then, um, oops, there we go. A little bit too much. I have Frenzy here, who's I guess in Siege and Micromaster. Or, I'm sorry, Rumble. And then I got two versions of uh, <laughs> Ravage uh, from Siege and from the Generations that came with Hound. And over here, this is the Black Mamba uh, Oversize Power of the Primes Grimlock. And back here, we have uh, Laser Beak. But yeah, there is a lot to this set. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the Autobots in here because we no longer need them for scale. So we can focus on the set itself. Okay, now that we got the Transformers out of the way, let's uh, scroll back or s go back, not scroll back just to see the size of this thing and you can see it's a really big playset. now the bottom here is basically uh like a cardboard with a i believe a plastic top and then um this is a sticker on top and same with the back and you basically get all these items here and i'll go through them one by one so let's put this here place down okay let's start with the smaller items first of all you get this uh i spy module for teletran one it's the one that um uh so i guess you can put it up like this and then it'll go up and this is the one that went around scanning vehicles for the new life for the new forms vehicle forms for the transformers and yes, these are 3D printed, as you can see, but to the, it's obvious that it's 3D printed when you put it this close to the camera, but it's, when you have it out like this, it's hard to tell, to be honest. But um, here's our spy satellite. We have this piece, and I'm not sure what this is. I, I, I'm wondering if, if this was the thing that was on Teletran or on the Ark that um, was beaming on to the Transformers when they were repaired, when you repair them? I don't know. And then there's a sticker label on the inside. Let's see if I can focus it. There you go. So you can see over here. Now, if you're wondering why I have a little black here on my thumb, um, I was spray painting, customizing. Um, that's why it's black. <laughs> okay, let's put this to the side. You also get um, this little like a uh, table or council table. You can see over here, it's a sticker of Devastator. But uh, the other Autobots can basically stand around it. Let me see if I can bring this here. So you can see red alert here standing around. So if they had some kind of plan they can look down over here nicely detailed
we also have this, um, well, let's go with here, this cage. So this cage is meant for Ravage. Now I just got, it does have a little stringing from the 3D printing process, but that's not hard to clean up. You can just easily wipe it out. But there's a cage, it's a pretty big cage. And this that's the reason why I got the Generations Ravage that came with Hound. Looks like it's meant for that version of Ravage because um, <laughs> the one that we got for Siege is really tiny, very small. Let's see if I can get them in there. I guess he could probably match as well. Now the cool part with the cage is he also gave us a key for it. It's a little 3D printed key for the cage that I guess should go on Hound. Let's put this on the side. We also get this medical uh, bed in here along with this control panel for it. So if you wanna recreate the scene of Optimus Prime, you know, ready to die, I guess you could. And maybe you can have, uh, let's have red alert here. Look at the console. Uh, let's take a closer look at the pieces. So here's the computer console. Again, you can see the 3D printing process more noticeably on camera, but like I said, it's not that noticeable when you're just with the naked eye. And the bed. This is a very large piece. So. Really, it's made for Transformers as big as a Voyager. We have Optimus Prime here. As if it was made for Optimus Prime, but I guess you could put like a deluxe lying down. There you go. Then you can see there's some stickers here and here. Okay, let's put this aside. And then we have this weapons rack. So this is a cool little weapons rack. You can see over here, a little sticker warning. Locker contains explosives. So the cool part with it is it's made for 5mm ports. It's basically a 5mm hole. So you could take um, any standard 5mm, like this is from Siege Red Alert and plug it in like so. But the nice part is um, DSA sent a whole bunch of weapons to fill it up with. So I got all these weapons here. Let me take them out. And I believe these weapons were created with um, their new printing process. The, uh, not the extruder type printer, but the resin printer. So you can tell, like, look how um, you can't see the the print lines as you can as you would with a normal 3D printer. So this is um, made with a resin printer, and this this Megatron gun here. Let's take that out. Is made with the, the normal extruder type 3D printer, and you can see the difference. Let's see if I can bring them up close here. So you can see the the print lines, very hard to see with the naked eye, but they're there. But um, with this type of print, it's pretty smooth, high detail. So he did provide uh, me with a bunch of weapons to fill up this weapons rack. So let's just put them in here. So if the Decepticons suddenly Attack. Look at this, there's a clear blue one. Maybe that'll be good for Mirage. They pretty much hang. They don't they don't stay in there too tight, which I get because I don't think it'd be good if it was too tight. You might break something. Look at this, there's a little uh, saw type weapon. If I can focus. Very cool. And a couple of 
knives. Okay, but you get the idea. So you can fill up this weapon rack with various 5mm ported weapons and have them hanging on the side. Hey, let's put that over here. <laughs> Everything's dropping. And the I would say the main feature of this um, playset is this Teletran 1. Let me get a little closer here. So here is Teletran 1. It comes in three parts. So let's put this to the side. You have these two side modules, which are basically mirror images of each other. Let's see if I get it focus. It's a very nice set. And like I said, they're basically mirror images of each other. So they can be placed either way. Or they could be put together on their own, I guess. Like if you wanted to do something like this. Let's see if I can zoom out here. So you can see over here, like if you just wanted it as a computer on the side or something. I'm, I'm, I like the fact that they're not glued all together, that you can position them in, in a way that you like. But man, I am so glad I got this set. It was really worth the wait. So nicely done. Um, I may go back and, you know, do some paint details, like paint up these little buttons to be different colors as if they're um, lights or something. But uh, maybe I'll do that down the, down the line. And Teletran 1 itself here. You can see it has these sticker sheets here for the screen. And over here as well, some detail. Some stickers applied here. Again, I may go back and put some paint apps on the buttons because it looks like it'd be kind of cool to do. Some stickers here and here. That's pretty much it. But like, it's a hefty, large piece. And you can see it's been assembled in multiple parts. A little hollow on the bottom, which is okay. You don't want this thing too heavy. And here's the back. Now, you get also three of these clips that allow you to hook up the, the bottom board and the top board together. So you don't need a backing uh, to keep the background up. But yeah, I, I gotta say, I re I'm really glad I picked up this set. So you can position it in multiple ways, which is kind of cool. But uh, yes, it is definitely worth the wait. Now, the only hard part for me is where am I going to keep this? Now, if I did stop motion or, you know, stuff like that, I can find this set very useful as a terrain piece to tell stories with. But um, I probably will turn this set into something of a display. I don't know if I can use the bottom too much. Maybe I'll print out a different type of bottom that's a little more shallow and then make it long, uh, wider, a wider display. But um, I'm really glad I got the set. I'm really thankful that uh, DSA, Deep Space Arsenal, included a bunch of extra weapons to fill up the weapons rack over here. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.